Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the topic plasmids. So what are plasmids? Plasmids are extra chromosomal DNA, a very important word extra chromosomal DNA. So what do we mean by extra chromosomal DNA? We know that the normal bacterial cell, they have, have got something called as nucleoid, which is nothing but a dense mass of genetic material or the genome. Now this plasmid is extra chromosomal that means out of the genome. So it is not included in the genomic material. So it is extra than the normal genomic material. So this is plasmid. This plasmids were discovered by two scientists named Hayes and Lederberg. It was done in the year 1952. Now plasmids very importantly they can replicate independent of the nucleoid. That means suppose a cell is dividing. Now the nucleoid that means the genetic material or the genetic DNA, genomic DNA have to be replicated. But this plasmids have the capability to replicate auto replication can be done by the plasmids. That means it can replicate by its own. So they replicate independent of the nucleoid. Plasmids if they are associated with nucleoids then these type of plasmids are known as epizomes. Now very important function of plasmids that we have tried to use is plasmids are used in genetic engineering. So what we do is we try to put genes from one organism to the other with the help of plasmids. So this can be done in various organisms. Hence these plasmids are also known as transfer plasmids because it is helping in the transfer of genetic material or genome or genes from a particular organism to a desired organism. Now plasmids if they have got traits which uh, are not actually very useful to a particular cell or a bacterial cell these type of plasmids are known as cryptic plasmids. So plasmids may be of two types because if uh, some plasmids may have very important functional genes that is it is helping in the function of some important functions of a bacterial cell and some may have be like cryptic plasmids which do not provide very important function to the cells. Now take, let us take a look on the different types of plasmids. First type we are going to discuss is F plasmid. So what is F plasmid? F plasmid are those type of plasmids which contain genes for conjugation or fertility. So these genes help in the fertility of a bacterial cell. So the fertility factor or the F factor. So this factor which is necessary is known as the fertility factor or it is also known as the F factor. So these are F positive plasmids or F positive cells. Now if a bacterial cell if it has got a F plasmid so F plasmid containing plasmids is called as male or donor bacterium. So if a bacterial cell has got F plasmids so these are known as donor or male bacterium. Now so if it does not have those are the recipient or the female bacterium. They develop sex pili for conjugation. Suppose this is a bacterial cell. Now they develop pilus or pili which is the plural form. So these are developed which helps in the method of conjugation. Now let us look into the second type of plasmid which is known as the R plasmid. So R is stands for resistance. So these type of plasmids they have got resistant genes in it. So they help in providing resistance to the bacterial cell. So resistance against what? Resistance against some common antibiotics. So they carry genes for resistance against antibiotics. So antibiotics are those chemicals which kill the bacterial cells. For example penicillin, chloramphenicol, sulfonamides, tetracyclines etc. There are many such antibiotics. Now the pathogenic bacteria which have got this R type of plasmids they are very difficult to be treated. Why? Because we know we try to treat the bacterial infections with the help of antibiotics. Now if they contain this type of R plasmids that means they are resistant towards these type of antibiotics. So we cannot kill this type of bacteria with the help of the normal available antibiotics. So these are resistant strains of the bacteria. The next type or the third type is known as the call plasmid. 
So why it is called as call plasmid? Because of the presence of the cholecinogenic factors. So what are these? These are nothing but these are factors which produce a toxin which is known as cholecins or bacteriocin. So these plasmids have the capability or have the genes to produce a toxin which is known as cholecins or bacteriocin. Now they can also get transferred from the back from one bacterium to another like the same type of properties which is possessed by the uh, other two types which we have discussed the F plasmid and the R plasmid. So all these three type of plasmids can be transferred from one bacterium to the other. So in this video we have talked about the topic plasmids. We uh, tried to discuss what are plasmids, they are extra chromosomal DNA. We have also talked about the different type of plasmids namely F plasmid, R plasmid and the third is call plasmid. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.